a poker life is unusual. There is no beaten path worn down by others. Every decision is individual. Every result traces back directly. There are no excuses. A player owns it. A player owns all of it. Which is why tonight means everything. Because it's the culmination of a life's work. Because the choices were singular. Because it's their name that goes down in history. Espen Jorstad. Adrian Attenborough. Michael Dewitt. They got here with perseverance, passion, and yes, a little serendipity. Tonight, one will become a World Series of Poker main event champion. It's a title that will follow them forever, whatever path they decide to take. That's the unusual life of a poker player. Tonight, we crown a champion. Just three remain from a field of 8,663. $10 million for first and a lifetime of being called world champion. That is what is on the line tonight, and we are moments away from getting started. Hi, everybody. Lon McCarran, joined by my broadcast partner, Norman Chad and Big Kerstetter. What a night we had last night, playing down from 10. So many all-ins without eliminations, but then the floodgates open. When the chips settled, just Norway, Australia, and Argentina remain. 34-year-old bracelet winner Espen Jorstad is the prohibitive favorite with 57% of the chips in play. He's calm, methodical, and often shoeless at the table. He will be hard to beat. Adrian Attenborough celebrates his 29th birthday in a few days. What a present to himself it would be to take down another world championship for Australia. He currently sits in a distant second place. Even further back, by way of Florida and Argentina, Michael Dewitt has a radiant smile and a wild rail to go along with serious poker chops. He has an uphill battle, but the 23-year-old just might be up to the task. Here's how the three stack up. Long road to the final table makes the stacks a little shorter than usual, especially with a blind change coming in 25 minutes. Your stat with 99 big blinds, Attenborough with 49, and as we mentioned, Dueck the short stack with 24. So much on the line tonight, life-changing in every way. To get three-handed action underway, let's go down to Caesars Vice President, Jack Ethel. Hello, everyone. First, I'd like to congratulate all three of our remaining players. It's quite an accomplishment to outlast 8,660 players to get to this point. We resume play today with 25 minutes and 20 seconds left in level 42. The blinds are 1.5 million and 3 million with a 3 million big blind ante. Danielle, are you ready? Players, are you ready? Let's shuffle up and deal. Nice switch seats. Oh, I'm not the big one. Oh, All right, okay, here we go. Sorry, the sorry. final table payouts presented by StormX of the 2022 mm -hmm. WSOP main event final table. $4 million guaranteed for the final three players as Espen Jorstad is the overwhelming chip leader in this three-handed battle with $10 million up top. Ladies oh and gentlemen, God. show some hype in the chat. This is the main event final well, table. These are the final three players. The action will be insane no, that, because these that. boys are duking it out for the biggest prize and the biggest bracelet in all of poker. <laughs> My name is Remco Rinkum, as always, on the preview sh shows, joined by Donnie Peters. And Donnie, what a battle we have here. What a battle we do have here, Espen Jorstad. Big, big chip leader. You guys heard Lon McCarran there. He's the prohibitive favorite, given his expertise, his experience, his chip stack. It's going to be a wild final table. Or final three, I should say. It's already been a wild final table. <laughs> exactly. Picking up action up here on hand number one, Admiral with the raise with pocket fives. 
By the way, if you're in the chat enjoying this free coverage here of the main event final table, do us a favor, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. That is all we ask for that, here on really the free thing? preview broadcast. Let us know who you're rooting for. Are you on Team Yorstad, Team Duek, or on <laughs> Team wow. Admiral? We have three yeah, like, countries represented, yeah, Donnie. And ship, so if we go like by the, the flags, there's no yeah, Americans left. Yeah. There are no Americans left. I guess Duek is kind of American. Cause and Admiral lives here? Yeah. I mean, Duek resides in Florida, born in Argentina, though. Edinburgh also lives in Las Vegas. Honorary Americans, because if they win the title, I mean, I want to celebrate my countrymen, you know? There, you saw the uh, Zenny Eyewear Tournament summary, the second largest main event of all time. $10 million top prize, as I referenced before. And one of these three men will take it down. Let us know in the chat who you think it's going to be. And let's see if we can hit 10,000 likes here in the first hour. Lots of hype in the chat. Lots of people watching already. Let's all go, have, let's go. All you have to do is just subscribe to our channel. We have daily new content on our YouTube channel that is well worth the click of the button. Much love to everyone out there in the chat. How many people out there joined us yesterday? Huh? We had, I think we had 4,000 new fans joining us yesterday on YouTube as Admiro picks up ace-queen offsuit in the big blind here as your stat is limped. Donnie, stacks still relatively deep. However, if you want to play post-flop, things get pricey really quickly. Oh, yeah. I mean, one hand could could swing things pretty big. One hand could end things for Duek. The stakes are high. I mean, they, they played so long on that day seven that... You know, the stacks are, I think, a little bit more shallow than we're used to seeing at this point in the WSB main event. Every decision is a big decision today. The final three players are all guaranteed $4 million. $6 million is what the second place finisher will get. And then is that, uh, is that my 10 million for the winner. The yours? youngest threesome here since 2017, Scott mm -hmm. Blum's team, Dan Ott and Benjamin Pollock. And Donnie, I... Would, I would, I would want to say here maybe the toughest three-handed battle since Jacobson, Stevenson, and Van Hove. Yeah, I mean it, it's up there. I mean I think they're all pretty tough three-handed. I'm not gonna belittle anyone that makes it a three-handed play oh. in the WSB main event, of course. No, I, I know you're not either. I'm just based off uh, past <laughs> results. Definitely a very highly regarded battle here. All three players have serious poker chops and have serious results to speak for and have been around for quite some time. I also think all three players are extremely deserving of winning this tournament given how they have played so far. All have all have shown some crazy plays, you know, <laughs> whether it's bluffing, whether it's making big call downs, etc. They've all played very well. Michael Duick there sporting the hat, the new hat with his nickname on the side, Dreamer. Must have got that just made. I like that. Dreamer Duick, great nickname as Admiro doesn't hold back. Three bets here to 24 million, and Duek is all in right away for 69 million. Picks up this pot right away. Ladies and gentlemen, when we get to 5,000 likes on today's video, I'll give away three annual subscriptions to Poker Go. So smash that like button if you are joining us right now. Three annual subs up for grabs here right away during the fr free preview hour. Do it up over 100 million. Let's go. Oh, man. He's got the biggest rail out there. That's for sure. This battle is far from over, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This could go any player's way. And Duek, of course, gets it through here with the shove on what I believe was hand number three of this final day of the final table. By the way, all our giveaways are only for YouTube subscribers. So while you're at it, please hit subscribe to make sure you're always in the know of all the action that we have going on. And we'll give away some annual subs here today on the free preview broadcast. And let me inform you as well, in case you missed last night's action, we have a free recap slash highlight video on our YouTube channel of last night's action, which was extremely, extremely intense. The gentleman played nine-handed for six hours <laughs> before, we lost wild. Our, before we lost our second player. And then things picked up a little bit here as Duek limps the small blind with King-6 suited. 10-9-9 rolls off on the flop here. Appreciate everyone tuning in. Please let us know where you're watching from. I'm proud to say that we have the most international crowd in all of poker. Always 
representing in chat. As the flop here goes check, check. Five on the turn. The rail, Donnie. Very quiet so far. Feels like everyone is just getting warmed up. It's been a couple of long nights for everyone here mm -hmm. in the building. Um, seeing lots of coffees going around. The beers, of course, probably being saved for a later time. I feel like everyone probably partied a little bit last night. I mean, I don't think these three players did. <laughs> they probably went home, went to bed, maybe went to study, uh, prepare for today's final three. But they're railbirds. I mean, they're in Vegas. Their guy's winning at least $4 million. I mean, it could <laughs> get loose a little bit. It could get very loose. It is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience for these players, but probably also for a lot of the people on the rail as Dueck checks to Jorstad here. Jorstad just four high. He's going to have to fire at it in order to take this one down. Appreciate everyone letting us know where they're watching from since this pot is really small. Let me get some quick shout outs out of the way. We got Romania, Norway, Austin, Texas, Kentucky, Belgium, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. Lots of regulars in the chat. Love to see it, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lithuania in the house. Newfoundland. I was like calling out the the lesser known spots. Zimbabwe. Thank you all so much for tuning in as Jorstad bet six million here. Trying to steal this one from Duek. Trying some shit, no. Huh? Why are you always trying some shit? Trying to get value for the deuce? I think it's fucked up what you're doing. <laughs> there you see the tail of the tape. The age is up top for all three of these players. Attenborough, 28. Duek, the youngest remaining, also the youngest to reach this final table at 23 years old. Jorstad. The oldest gentleman, Donnie, 34 there, years old. There was a time, Donnie, for a very long time that you and I would have been the youngest at every final table, and now you and I both would have been the oldest. <laughs> that is true. Well, du Aaron Duzak was the oldest. He was only 40. I know. I mean, that, that's, that's not that old at all. A 40, but he doesn't eat vegetables. Well, he might eat vegetables now. He wasn't eating vegetables during his run. <laughs> oh, man. What an epic week of action it's been. And boy... Are we also feeling the fatigue, Donnie? It's been long nights, but of course, nothing compares to what these players are going through as Dulek raises the button here with 7-5 suited. Admiral giving it some pause here with King-6 off. Only 18. Come, oh, go ahead. Coming with the three bet here. 22 oh. million. Yeah, Admiral came to fight here today, ready to battle these guys. Of course, leveraging his stip, chip position against these two players, knowing that at least getting to heads up is going to get either one of these guys a massive, massive pay jump. By the way, I was going to say only 1,800 likes so far on the video. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's at least get those numbers up. These are rookie numbers. Maybe we got a lot of rookies out there. I mean, if, you, if there's rookies out here, let me know. If you just subscribed to our YouTube channel for the very first time, please let us know in the chat. Love to hear it. Also, if you want to subscribe to Boca Go, Donnie, we got some exciting new action coming up in the summer. We do. We have some big tournaments. We also have a brand new cash game. In terms of the well, tournaments, we'll to Poker Masters in we'll September, say, Super High Rollable in October, Poker Go Tour Championship in yeah, December. Nice. So. Also have the Run Good All-Stars Pro-Am coming up later this year. On the cash game game front, we got a new cash game that's coming out. One more. <laughs> One more. No gamble, no future. Do you think there's going to be the a cash game? Do you think there's going to be lots of gambling in the cash game? I mean, game? the name is No Gamble, No Future. If there's not gambling, what are we doing? <laughs> you guys can stay tuned to all the PokerGo channels, PokerGo on social media, etc. PGT.com will announce more on No Gamble, No Future, the cash game coming up, including lineups, stuff like that. 
set looks pretty sexy. Oh. I saw some renderings of it. It looks nice. It looks good. I hear we got some juicy lineups in the works. I hear the stakes are going to be nice and big, so I'm looking forward to that one. I know uh, our guy Brent Hanks has been hard at work pretty much every single day around the clock trying to make that happen. So those are all reasons to sign up for Poker Go. Of course, we have a massive database as well of on-demand content. Get WSP30 as the promo code, $30 off an annual subscription. And here goes Duick raising all in there for just shy of $90 million. Yorstad raised from the button. Adam Rowe called with fours from the small line. And here's Duek risking it all. 30 bigs in the middle and quickly picks it up. That's the second big pot that he's taken down. Miles for Duak and Israel, who his sister showed up late last night to join the action on the rail. Big surprise there for Michael, who loved having more and more of his family members in the mix. Jack three off here in the small blind. Might see our first walk here. There it is. Just tuning in. Three-handed battle here. World Series Poker main event 2022. We are live from Las Vegas. My name is Rem Karinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me. As always, we are on the call for our YouTube free streaming action. It's been a phenomenal summer. We've covered lots of events. We hope to do more for you guys. So if you like our commentary, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Gives us a better reason to keep doing this. Ooh, I just missed a $2 donation in the chat. Chat was going so fast. Traveling Picker, thank you so much. He says, I'm a rookie. Well, maybe. Well, I appreciate you either way. All donations go straight to our coffee fund. And actually, today I used some of our donations, Donnie, that we've gotten on the last stream. Oh, you did? To buy a dozen donuts. Wow. For, for, for the team. I already snuck one. I caved. Producer Aiden is giving me a stare down, like, where are the donuts? Well, the donuts are actually in our little office here. And we got Dee Dee with a $20 Aussie donation. It's about $6 right now, right? Aussie dollar. I haven't seen Dee Dee in, in forever. I mean, I haven't been down to Australia in forever, but how you been, my man? Oh, good on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. It's been a while since we've seen you. Quick look at the bio there of Espen Jorstad, who has... Probably, uh, ha probably has the toughest rail if we were trying to gather top pros to battle it out for a battle of the rails. Lots of GTO wizards running the sims overnight, I'm assuming, as your stat continues to raise here. 6-5 off on the button. Attenborough gives up the ace-deuce, and one more hand goes to your stat. So far, very quiet and subdued. No table chatter. These players, of course, all very much aware of what's at stake. And Donnie, this is not only about the money. This is also about that banner and about the prestige that comes along with it. Yes, everyone who has ever touched a poker chip wants to be the World Series of Poker main event champion. Here's a look. That is the dream. Here's a look at the Stormex chips in place. Stormex, the easiest way to earn crypto. Donnie, 5 million chips, phenomenal stuff there. What do we call those? Were those were those the Wolverines from the housewarming? The Wolverines, the vampires. I don't even know what you call them. The <laughs> werewolves. I don't even the remember. The werewolves. I call them the sil silver bullets. Shout out if you were with us during our first stream. Hey, give us a name for those gray chips. Yeah, please, chat. Submit a name for the new gray and pink chips. Attenborough here with the race. The six million with ace jack suited. I'm going silver bullet. I like the silver bullets. Duek with King 8 offs within the small blind. 
Current payouts are $4 million for third, $6 million for second, and then, of course, $10 million up top. Thanks for the donation, Shadow. We appreciate it. Let's go. Here comes Duek with a three bet, using some of those chips. Yorstat folds King-8, which is the same hand that Duek just used to make it 23 million. Admiral, however, looks down at Ace-Jack suited powerhouse hand here. Admiral makes the call. We go to the flop. Ooh, we got some suggestions coming in. Saw another donation, too. Thomas Richter, thank you. Greetings from Torgau. Here we got Queen-5, 10 on the flop. <coughs> Gutshot Broadway draw for Attenborough along with the backdoor Royal Flush draw. You definitely have to, you have to make sure that you call that out. Duek with just King High, however. Might take a stab here after three betting before the flop. Stephen Fisher, the $2 donation for the donuts. Much love. Duek taking his time here. Decides to check. Munir with another donation. Five of whatever that currency is. Not familiar with the AED. Do appreciate it. Check, check to the turn. King hits. Oh, my God, Donnie. This is the card. What a card. Admiral makes Broadway. I mean, not if you're Duick, of course. <laughs> Brutal card for him. Duick with top hair. <coughs> 74 million chips left. 52 already in the middle. Doesn't have a whole lot of room to play. Let's see how he approaches this. The UAE Durham. Is that currency? The UAE Durham? Oh, United, United, United Arab Emirates. 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 Oh, wow. Dono's coming in. Coffee fund from Crypto Hoarder, 20 bucks. Appreciate it. Ricky Harris, please adopt the time clock. <laughs> it's the main event final table, man. Playing for 10 million bucks. Brian Huang. Brian Huang in the mix as well. Love to see it. So many OGs in the house. As Duek fires out 17 million. Pressure now on Attenborough to see how he can make the most of his Broadway. I think I saw Brian, too, was, was stopped in Vegas and took a little photo on social media with Attenborough. So he must be rooting for his guy. The presence of Brian Huang just <laughs> radiates luck onto his friends. Duek sees a call. River card. Let's see it. Three of spades. Doesn't help Duek, who, of course, was already drawing dead. But it's also not the type of card that'll save him a whole lot of money, Donnie. No, this is going to be a tough spot for Duek, also given his stack size in relation to the pot. Going to be hard to get away from top pair here, I'm guessing, against a player like Attenborough. Of course, he could just <laughs> rip into the nuts. High-pressure spot here for Duick. These guys have been battling each other for... I mean, some of them have been playing at the same table for the last three days. Let us know in the chat who you're rooting for for just tuning in. Main event final table action, the final three underway. This is a one-hour free preview. If you want to hear the voices of Lon McCarran, Norman Chad, and Jamie Kerstetter, they are doing commentary on the Pokego.com live stream. If you are new to Pokego, use promo code GETWSOP30 to save $30 on your annual sub. Let's go. Duex still in the tank here. Times one said for Budweiser and Marlboro. <laughs> I ain't having either of those, man. <laughs> Let's see what Duek is going to do. I'm very curious, Donnie, if he's considering <coughs> going for value here. And from, from my perspective, given the, the stakes and the pressure, this is a pretty obvious spot where you check to Admiral, hope to get the showdown. Top well, air. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you check... I also don't fold. <laughs> I mean, if, if you check and he rips, yep. just because 
hits Attenborough and he's done things like that before where he's put people in some really, really tough spots with nothing. Oh, wow. Wow. All in. Fuck. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. He's only got one five million chip behind. Oh my god. It's over. It's all over for Dueck. He makes the call, gets shown Broadway. And there it is, we are heads up. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible start we have here during three-handed play. Michael Dueck goes for it on the river with top air. And we are down to two. Just like that, down to two. Heads up for the $10 million top prize, $4 million difference, and WSOP championship gold race. Chance of Mickey, Mickey, Mickey raining down on Michael Dueck, who's thanking every single person on his rail. Phenomenal support for him. His sister there. Close. What a spot for Michael Dueck. And we are down to Adrian Edinburgh versus Espen Jorstad for the title, the bracelet, and of course the banner to be hung here inside the World Series of Poker Tournament Room for all of eternity, along with legends such as Stu Unger, Doyle Brunson, Phil Helmuth, and our most recent champion, Corey Aldemir. Do like much deserved hugs from everyone on this rail representing Argentina. Here's a look back at his final moments in the main event. And it only took us about six hands to get to this stage. What a way to start. What a That's way, for sure. What a way to start. Ladies and gentlemen, please smash that like button if you're enjoying the crazy action here. And we are doing only a one hour preview, so ladies and gentlemen, you might get lucky here. Never could have imagined things playing out this way. Wow. Unbelievable. Admiral and your stat now probably going to go on a break because, of course, Donnie, we are awaiting the presentation of, there it is, the there cash is. and the bracelet. Both players now guaranteed $6 million, playing for a whopping $10 million. So nothing more than a $4 million heads-up match. What a phenomenal final table it's been. A closer look here at the Stormex final table payouts as Duek collects $4 million, Eames $3 million, Dobrich 2.25 and look down the list. I mean, can we hit at least 5,000 likes here in this first hour? It would be very much appreciated. 20,000 people watching right now. Love to see it. What side are we on? Espen or? Well, Mickey, they call you Dreamer. Could you have ever dreamed of a third place finish at the World Series of Poker main event? No, this was, this was quite the experience. Uh, definitely a lot. A lot more amazing than I thought it could have ever been. So uh, just being here, I'm happy and grateful for, for the outcome. It's so clear that your family, your friends have been so su supportive. What was running through your mind when you hugged them at the end? Just just uh, really thankful that they were able to make it out here uh, and supporting me. Um, there's really not much more I could ask for, just the fact that they're here and I get to share this experience with them. We're going to see in more No Limit Hold'em tournaments now? Uh, probably, yeah. Uh, mainly PLO, but yeah, maybe some more No Limit Hold'em tournaments. Got to gotta put in some work, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. Appreciate the time. Congratulations on a Thank great you. run. Appreciate Thank it. You. Yes. All right, and we're about to head on over to Kara Scott and Maria Ho for some break, deck, break desk action as the boys are getting ready to play for the big bucks. Espen Jorstad, 284 million. Adrian Edinburgh, 235 million. Let us know in the chat who, who you're rooting for. Smash like, subscribe to the channel. We'll be right back. Maria Ho and Kara Scott taking it from here. It's the best free poker game out there. You're on fire. Poker Go Hold'em. Play anywhere, anytime.
It's just like the shows you love on TV. Think you can beat Phil Hellmuth? Then download and play. The poker bread is waiting. Download Poker Go Hold'em today. Available in your favorite app store. Get in the game. After a very short three-handed play, we've lost Mickey Dueck. You can see him there. He's just won $4 million. His rail was so supportive all the way through. And just the look on his face is uh, its really heartwarming. It feels a bit impossible at the start that somehow we get from this massive field to heads up, but here we are. Hi, everyone. Kara Scott along with Poker Pro Maria Ho back at the break desk for another day of the final table. It was a grueling ride for these players. Dueck and Attenborough started 10 days ago. Your said nearly two weeks ago. Now, before we get into some hand analysis, a look at the leaderboard brought to you by Caesars Sportsbook. We are all Caesars, and there are only two names that we are looking at now. Espen Yorsted, he has 94 big blinds. Adrian Attenborough with 78 big blinds. A lot more even than I was expecting to see it. Yeah, with Attenborough knocking out Dueck, of course, now we've got the real battle beginning on our hands. Obviously, both players have shown themselves to be incredibly competent. They know what they're doing, and it's going to be a mix of who's going to play better and who's going to run that much better. That's right. And the blinds are going up in three minutes here, but they are still quite deep stacked. So what can we expect to see at this stage heads up with deep stacks? I think it's going to start out a little cagey. I think they're going to feel each other out. Obviously, they have a lot of information from playing against one another for many, many days. But of course, now when it's heads up, there's nowhere to hide. So you're going to have to get involved. But you might want to see how your opponent adjusts and adapt mm -hmm. to the heads up dynamic now. Right. And these are the two players that seemed very cool and calm and collected kind of all the way through here, too. So I'm very interested to see if that changes. I suspect, obviously, that it won't because they seem to be, you know, very strong professionals. They know what they're doing at this stage. Yeah, I think they both feel really, really comfortable. Mm. And I expect that they're going to know when to amp up the aggression mm. and when to lay back a little bit. All right, let's take a look at a couple of hands from yesterday. This one where Duet gave a lot of chips to Attenborough. Started with a raise by Duet Pre and Attenborough defending his big blind. Yeah, so here we see Attenborough flopping top pair, Duek with second pair, but with the betting lead and decides to continuation bet. Of course, Attenborough isn't going anywhere. A lot of draws possible, though, on this flop, of course, straight draws, flush draws. The turn is the seven of hearts. Attenborough checks his hand over to Duek, and I think Duek recognizing that you don't really want to inflate the pot too much with second pair checks back as well. And the five of spades comes in on the river, completing that flush draw from the flop. We see Attenborough go for about half pot here as a value bet with top pair. Duek gives it a think and decides to actually make the call. Now, I'm not too sure about that river call as Duek. I feel like considering Attenborough did defend from the big blind, he certainly has all of the flushes. He's mm -hmm. going to defend pretty much any suited hand from that situation. And so I think King-10, of course, is just a little too weak to right. make that hero call on the end. I mean, what is he hoping to see there when the, when the hands flip over? Yeah, especially because with that king, it's a pretty key card because mm -hmm. it blocks King Jack, it blocks King Nine, it blocks a lot of those straight draws that does miss, miss but doesn't block any of the flush draws. So I feel like it was one of those spots where I think if Duek maybe took a little more time, mm. or maybe there was just a lot of adrenaline running through <laughs> his veins, and he's like, I want to make a good call here yeah. and be right. Um, but I think if he gave it a little more consideration, he could have gotten away. Okay, let's take a look at another hand. This one here from Forehanded Play last night, where Yorstead opens up his range a bit forehanded here. Yeah, Yorstead opening the button with seven five of hearts and of course forehanded you expect that there is going to be as you said this mm -hmm. opening of ranges but especially from the button fine hand to go with and duek defends with nine eight offsuit the flop comes seven six three rainbow and duek decides to lead in here to the pre-flop aggressor, we don't see that very often, but of course there are going to be situations where there are certain board textures that you might want to take a lead here. Mm -hmm. And your set, of course, flopping top pair does come along. The turn is the queen of hearts, and so Duek with that open-ended straight draw and two overs to your set's hand decides to continue with this semi-bluff. 
but I feel like your set, of course, going to meet some resistance. This man, second pair, hasn't really shown that he's going to be making a fold at this stage here. So he calls again, and the river comes the six of spades, and now Duek has to decide, does he shut it down? Mm. Does he continue and go for the triple barrel bluff in this spot? I think the problem here, it goes check, check, as you see, he does give up. And the issue becomes when you start taking a leading range with these types of hands where you have a semi-bluff, you show up to the river if you're not willing to go through with the triple barrel, then you end up at showdown with not any mm. showdown value. So I feel like it's one of those situations where if you decide you want to lead the flop and bet turn, you have to empty the clip there. Right. And if you don't, you're just not going to be able to take the pot down. OK. Now, I keep saying this all the way through. It's a crucial stage. It's a crucial stage. This is the crucial stage. We have 10 million for first. We have 6 million for second. So I mean, you want to come either way. But still, that's a big, big difference. I was speaking to some uh, former champions, actually, online. Greg Merson, who is one of my favorites, I must say. And he was saying that for him, he actually turned his phone off for both of the days of the final table. And although that might be more difficult you know, now, in 2022, than in 2012, he's thinking that that's probably a good idea. What would you be doing if you were up here at this kind of stage with this kind of pressure? Yeah, I think especially when you know you have your rail of family, friends, loved ones that are here to support you, a part of you wants to make sure that you're checking in with them, that you're, <laughs> again, you know, recognizing their presence and their support here. But at this stage, you know, it's important to just stay focused, to lock in, you know, no more checking your phone, no more going to your rail. Mm. There's only so much they could do to help you at this point. You know, you know what you've had to do to get this far, and you really, really have to just trust and rely on on your own instincts at this point. That's right. I think that kind of mental toughness is going to be so important at this point. There's so much at stake. And I, I don't know if you can hear this at home, but there is an absolute you know, riot happening here. It's pretty incredible, this, um, this atmosphere. We can see Mickey Dweck is with his rail just off camera. And they're celebrating his amazing third place finish. And you know, they're all just so happy for him. And I love that. I love that. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> He's definitely had the biggest rail so far. Yes. So it might quiet down a little bit just in time for heads up play. <laughs> Okay, well, that's all for us now. The conclusion of the 2022 main event is right around the corner. Don't go anywhere. There is so much more to come. Stay here and enjoy. Riñón y medio hígado. Para mí. These guys want it. These guys want the money. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are heads up for the 2022 World Series Boker main event bracelet. 10 million bucks. And Was that all? And it's just 10 million bucks. Espen Yorstad, 284 million chips, 94 big blinds. Adrian Attenborough, 235 million chips, 78 big blinds. The, the action will be wild. These guys came to battle. If you're Gandhi and you sit in the lab all day, you don't deserve it, bro. Exactly. <laughs> no. Such an absurd amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like Your stat from Levanger, Norway. Won bracelet earlier, <laughs> earlier this summer what in the 1K do? tag team. Huh? What are you going to do with all this money? Uh, well, I'm going to go to fucking Canada for a while and just like get out of the, I've been in Vegas the last two and a half years, so I'm like, I just need to smell what? some nature. You've been in Vegas for two and a half years? Yeah, I live here. I live Jesus, here. bro. Yeah. yeah. 
so. gonna go into the forest. Yeah, I just become wanna, a monk. I want to smell some rain and yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Just like something. Uh, yeah. All right, good luck, bro. Yeah, good luck, man. Let's play. Wow. Jovial atmosphere. These guys are laid back and casual. First hand off the deck. King Queen suited for your stat. Let's do this again, chat. Who are you rooting for? Jack for suited for Admiral in the big blind. Three bet right away, Donnie. 26 million with Jack 4 suited. I'm not an ex a heads up specialist, but it seems uh, aggressive. Does seem aggressive. Probably trying to set the tone early. <laughs> Oh, we got fans from both sides here tuning in. And just so everyone knows, this is a one-hour free preview. So at the end of this current hour, we're going to send it on over to Lon, Norm, and Jamie. I mean, very aggressive start here. Very big pot right away. 55 million in the middle. This is hand number one. King, 10, 8, 2 hearts. Jorstad, top pair. Phenomenal start for him here. By the way, if you just want to watch t the conclusion of tonight's final table, of course, <laughs> unless it ends in the next 20 minutes, um, you can also get the monthly sub. Only 15 bucks to watch the rest of this final table. And you get a whole month to try out and see if you love the content. We have a new season of high-stakes poker available as well. Lots of high-stakes action. You can both be entertained by and learn from as Admiral bets 16 million. Your stat giving me some Martin Jacobson vibes here, Donnie. He is. We got the we got Martin Jacobson and, and I feel SP. like he sits similar too at the tail, you know. Like. And he's got the sharpest chin I've ever seen. Good jawline battle here. Every decision, of course, magnified by the enormous payouts and the honor that goes along with winning this tournament. And, of course, we as Poker Insiders, Donnie, will always remember who finished the second. But for m most people around the world, the winner is the only real star of the show. Jorstad makes the call. <laughs> 87 million already in the middle. This thing is blowing up. Four of spades on the turn. Action extremely slow, of course, during this phase of the tournament. But even though the action is slow, it is aggressive. We've got tons of money already in the middle. Admiral reaching again with Jack Hyde on you. What is hat? Or sorry, he's just gonna come he, with it. He made a pair of fours. He did make a pair of fours. <laughs> now he's like showed on value. Now nah, let's go. Wow. <coughs> what do you what do you think of this bet here, Donnie? Continuing to fire here. I think he's continuing to try to tell a story. We've seen Admiral get aggressive before. He doesn't block hearts. Hearts could certainly be in the range of Jorstad. He does block Queen Jack and Jack Nine though, which is interesting. Yeah, to the people in the chat, let's do a little quiz here. Who got second last year? Most people will probably have to think about that for a second. Or send send all your main event runner-ups in the chat. All n Name the people that you remember that finished second in the main event. By the way, if you're just tuning in, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. We love doing these preview slash hype shows for you guys. Yesterday we did a very special one. 
where we showed a lot of the day seven coverage. Oh yeah, there it is. George Holmes, Sammy Farah. <laughs> Owen Roeder, someone says. Let's go. <laughs> the, the fact that the someone, baby boy. That someone referenced Owen, like, like to me, main event day one feels like a year ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what happened on day one. <laughs> so long ago. Shout out to everyone who's been with us on this wild ride as we see many legends pass through the chat here, Donnie. David Williams, Darwin Moon, Johnny Chan, of course. Back-to-back -back winner, then losing heads up. To Phil Helmuth. Helmuth, by the way, 58th birthday today. Dang. I can't imagine George that is thinking about folding here. No. I think he's just figuring out how he's going to continue to play this one. Do, do, do you think he's... Looks like he's going to make a call. Do you think he's taking extra time in hopes of getting uh, Admiral to keep firing on the river? Or is he just hoping that he might slow down because you, know, you don't want to take that big of a risk with just top pair? I think he's acutely aware of the situation and wants to make sure he covers everything possible. He just feels like that type of player, right, that is going to have all grounds covered, think everything through from start to finish, top to bottom, you know, cross all of his T's, dot all of his I's type of stuff. <coughs> and they are playing heads up for $4 million, you know. Both players... Likely to take a lot of time in every single hand here, but I find it hard to blame them playing for this much money. There's a check slowing down a little bit. Feels like a like a give up, you know. I've given <laughs> I've given it my best shot. I've inv <laughs> I've invested a hundred million chips. Yeah, it could be a, could be a give up. Could be a you know. Let's just get this to showdown. I do have two pair now. A lot of draws out there. Did miss. Hearts missed. Queen Jack, Jack 9 missed. 9 7 missed. George Day taking his time here again. Matus Pater, what's up, my buddy? How you doing? Oh, Pater in the house. Thank you so much. Miss you too, man. Miss you, boss. He says, go Adrian Attenborough. The Aussies are out for their man. AA. I don't know if you guys know this, but he's been living in Vegas for two and a half years now, so we've claimed him. Okay? <laughs> if he wins this, America wins. Okay? That's how we're doing it. Matus Pater, one of the goats of Australian poker. He's probably seen more hands of live poker than anyone. <laughs> George Dead still motionless over there. I mean, Someone needs to check if he's awake I, behind I those was, glasses. I was looking at producer Aiden <laughs> trying to make sure that our feet was still all right. <laughs> when they sit so motionless like that, and, and I mean specifically Attenborough with his hands <laughs> under the table, I always think that the stream froze because yeah. I can't see them like shuffling their chips or, or doing stuff with their hands. Oh, wow. He's there all in. Go. Oh, wow. Your stat all in, risking it all. But we all know that he's got the best of it. I mean, Attenborough doesn't look like he wants to give this up. All right, so Donnie, we can safely assume that Attenborough is going to sort of go through all possible scenarios. What are some of the options he's considering here as far as, far as the range that your stat uh, could be having here? Well, I think given the fact that he's already started thinking about this and, and and his mannerisms when he started thinking about it, he initially is like misdraw. Like I think that's initially where right, he's right, going, right, yeah. which there are a bit of misdraws. There are heart draws that have missed. There is queen jack. There is jack nine. There is nine seven. Those have all missed. You know, you could even have an ace queen and ace jack as well. All those have missed. Attenborough not having hearts in his hand. Doesn't block any of the hearts, so it could certainly put those hearts in the range of George Tett. He does block some of the straight draws, though. He blocks the ace jack, he blocks the queen jack, he blocks the jack nine. I don't think if uh, if George Tett has a hand like, let's say, 
ace four of hearts, right? I don't think he's ripping this river like this. But also he obviously can't have an ace eight of hearts because the eight of hearts is out there. When we think about perceived ranges and how your stat looks at Attenborough's range, I'm curious to hear from you how he interprets that. Because when you think about it, you know, <coughs> it's hand number one, main event, heads up. They're playing heads up for $4 million. Your stat shoving king-queen for value just seems like a big, big play. You know, are you hoping to get <laughs> called from king-jack? You know, obviously, you lose to... You're hoping to get called king. by worse kings. You're hoping to get called by some tens. You know, I, I think that we've seen Attenborough. I can't remember the exact hand, but he made a huge call. I can't remember. It was, I think it was on day seven. Um, he made a big call. Maybe it was with ace high or, or second pair. I can't remember exactly. Let's see if we can hear what he has to say. Or is he just mouthing words? <laughs> I think he's mouthing the ranges. Wow. The fact that Admiral is even considering this is wild to me. <laughs> I, do you think he's laughing because if I call this and I'm right, it's going to be one of the sickest hands in main event history? Yeah, and then if I'm wrong, I'm going to look like a total <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I mean, that's what you're thinking, right? You're like, am I really going to do this heads up in the main event for $4 million? I'm really going to call it off with, you know, I mean, it's bottom pair, but it's, it's two pair, yes, because there's a pair of eights on the board, but. I is, am I really going to do this? I love how the chat pros are saying you only have a four. But guess what? If your stat has ace queen of hearts, Admiral looks like an absolute genius if he manages to pull this off. We are, of course, being results oriented because we can see the cards. But put yourselves in Admiral's Admiral shoes. You probably have a good 20 <laughs> hours of history. Man, price wise, it's fucking fun. Your stat motionless. I think he just cited the price he's getting there. I would think that because Attenborough did three bet the Jack Four pre flop hands like Ace Queen, Ace Jack, especially the Ace Queen suited, in this case Hearts, uh, the Ace Jack suited, he could also have hands like you know another thing to think about here is it comes back to our spades if he has Ace Jack of Spades. Um, something like that where, you know, he, he continues on the flop, picks up a flush draw on the turn, and then goes. Adber also doesn't block those hands. So I don't feel like I'm good in this one. In a way, it's kind of leveling or with himself. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely playing against himself right now. He's counting on his... On the other side, I think Jorstad correctly recognized that that's a very good card for him to shove. Do you think Admiral is thinking there are so many hands that your stat would want to take to show down here? Let's let's you know say nines, jacks, um, even maybe even maybe a hand like queens. When you think about it that way, there aren't many hands left that your stat can can shove with in this scenario. Yeah, I think he's certainly factoring all that into the equation. We might have to extend this preview. <laughs> just mean, he's to he's certainly pained by this tank. I mean, this is crazy. I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give some credit to Admiral for even considering it because judging by his body language, he seems to be exactly 50-50 right now on what he's going to do. And let me remind everyone: if he calls, it's over. If he calls this, the tournament is done. Ten million dollars to Norway. See you later. Pack it up. Let's go home. <laughs> One hand and we're out. One hand, it's possible. <laughs> this could be this, the, the shortest heads up in World Series Poker Main The shortest history. but longest. Shor the, yeah. the yeah. shortest based on number of hands played. Yeah, you fucking get the odds to call. Holy shit. Yeah, you have to bluff all those hands. Obviously check. Wow, your stat is, uh, is, is one flick of the chip away from being the main event champion, Donnie. And of course, given this this pause, your stat now knows 
that he has the best hand. My range, again. What an insane situation. Now, the longer Attenborough thinks, the more confident I believe your set gets with his hand. Which is kind of the reverse of what we saw last year, where George Holmes moved all in and Karai was tanking with the better hand for a little bit, thinking everything through. That might have made George Holmes feel a little bit more confident, like, okay, I got him, right? <laughs> but ultimately, we know the result there. He didn't, and Karai made the correct call to win the entire tournament. All right, Chad, let us know. Do you think Admiral is pulling the trigger, or do you think that he's going to find a way to fold? By the way, we see the counter on the screen now. Seven minutes into this river decision right now. And your stat is like a statue out there. What an insane situation we are looking at here. The first hand of heads-up play, if you're just tuning in, smash that subscribe button, like the video. We love doing it for you guys. But we are, we are approaching the end of this first hour. And no, we're not going to leave you hanging. We're also <laughs> interesting to point out is that Jorstad probably doesn't want to call the clock because it could mess up what's going on here. Similar to what we saw with Jeffrey Farns when he was against David Diaz. He ended up calling the clock, and Diaz pretty much snap-folded afterwards, right? Whereas yep. if he might have talked himself into making that call. I know it did look like Diaz was going to fold at times in the hand, but he kept going back and forth, it seemed. So does, does George that just feels very content right now to just let this play out and let Attenborough ultimately make the decision. Mustafa with a $10 donation <coughs> sending us a KO emoji. <laughs> just trying to think what the fuck my range gets to the rip of this. <coughs> Admiral puzzled by the moment here. Well. Do you feel like the longer he tanks, the more he's likely to call? <laughs> I, mean, I, I have no idea. I will, on I will honestly say I've, I've hardly <laughs> ever seen cool, someone... Cool as torn as this. He's, like, you can tell from his butt, he wants to call. He wants to be the hero. Well, I think, I think his instincts and his calculations, if you want to call them, that are also telling him that, you know, this is a spot where Jorstad is, could be bluffing a ton of hands. <laughs> but then, you're sitting there, your head's up in the WP main event, there's $10 million on the table. That $500,000 gold okay, bracelet is sitting there. I want to go offsuit Jack X. I can X fuck. This is tough. Also, I'm, I'm sure it's hard to, to process everything after having played so, so long so for so many days, right? Donnie, how different would it be if Admiral had a 10 instead of a 4 as far as his decision making here. I know he's still beat, but would that make a big difference in the way he sees this hand? I mean, it's a little bit of a stronger holding, of course, but I think it would have been a similar spot. I mean, chat is collectively losing their mind. Can't say that I'm not losing my mind, but it is <laughs> riveting stuff. You only see this once a year, ladies and gentlemen. Ten minutes into the tank for the bracelet. If Attenborough pulls the trigger here, the tournament is over, and Espen Jorstad wins $10 million. If he folds, Attenborough is down to $132 million, and we play on. Either way, this, this is likely to be the final hand of a one-hour free preview. Just want to remind everyone that action will continue on PokerGo.com with Lon McCarran, Norman Chad, and Jamie Kerstetter. If you just want to treat this like a pay-per-view, get our monthly sub for $15 on PokeGo.com. If you want to get the best value, use promo code GETWSOP30 to save $30 on your annual subscription, bringing it down to just $69 for the year or $5.80 per month. We have a high-stakes cash game coming up in August. It's oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know if he was going to grab those and go into the pot, <laughs> and he went back on his stack. Can, do, I'm curious what happens here. I mean, he's, how long has he been taking for? Ten, ten minutes, I, I mean, feel like? We must be approaching 12 minutes right now. If there's no end in sight, does the tournament staff step in? I, mean, <laughs> I honestly don't know. You know, what, what, what happens in this situation? I have no idea. 
I don't think Jorstad's going to move. I mean, he looks as motionless as motionless can be. He might even be taking a little nap behind those uh, those shades. His fans are wearing shirts that say, do you even meditate? He's probably meditating. He, he, yeah, he's probably just very zen right now. What an incredible <coughs> situation. On the other side, Attenborough looks like he's just thrown into a torture chamber over here. Yeah, this is this is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. What happens if he tanks so long that the delay comes into play? People think it's <laughs> people think it's staged, Donnie. People think we got Attenborough to think this long. <laughs> Either way, much love to the people in the chat. I've never seen a hand like this before. And I, I don't think either player has been in this situation before. We're talking about two very experienced top professionals battling heads up for the bracelet. And Amaro just cannot make up his mind. Probably a little bit overcome by the size of the moment, the pressure, and the longing to be correct here. And if he's, if he's right, Donnie, and if yours that was indeed bluffing, he looks like an absolute legend if he pulls the trigger. But right now, he's one yeah. call away from being reminded of this hand for all eternity. I mean, I feel like we're going to be reminded of this hand for all eternity anyway. The tank heard around the world. The tank heard around the world. I like that. I mean, this is just wild. All right, we are now officially past the one-hour mark, so this will be our last hand of the free preview. Much love to everyone tuning in. This is the... See, um, IV in the chat says, analysis paralysis, Donnie. Are you, are you eventually going to think yourself in circles where... If you don't trust your gut early, you might make the wrong decision. So, I mean, with Attenborough here, that might mean call, and ultimately that will be the wrong decision, but... I think he ultimately needs to trust himself one way or the other. It's gotten him this far. I mean, are we, are we, a, do we have to call the Guinness Book of World Records for single longest poker hand of all time? This is for sure wild. I'm seeing a tweet right now from Phil Gelfond. He said, I would have called and been in my car already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if he might, he might have sent that and gotten into his car already. And made it down here to balance. The fact that poker legend Phil Galfon says that this is a call goes to show that how this decision is not as straightforward as para force, I don't have it, I have to fold. Phil Galfon, of course, would not be messing around with something like that. David Williams tweeted out, definitely time for the Scotty quote, you call, it's going to be all over, baby, from Espen. Imagine if Espen did that, it'd be so hilarious. Unbelievable situation. We might have to get our stats team, a.k.a. Tim, Duck <laughs> Tim Duckworth, to figure out whether this was the longest hand in poker history. Wicked Jake Clown Dog, thanks for the donation, saying he will fold. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, okay. one way or the other, there's going to be a result of this hand. He, he can't sit here forever. I <laughs> mean, he just can't. <laughs> and also, he, he can't tank forever because we're on a delay. At what point do we just want him to tank forever? Like, we've come so far that right. we, we want to see just how far he goes. Th this is our <laughs> life now, Donnie. We live in this moment. It now we're like, you know what? Just just go 40 minutes, man. <laughs> Let's go. Chad, I don't, I don't remember a world before Attenborough was thinking about calling with Jack 4. The question is, is there a world after Attenborough makes a decision with Jack 4? This is absolutely insane. I see David Williams say he's trying to wait out the delay <laughs> so he can get a secret message from the rail. LOL, kidding. Worldwide WAP responds, at what point is it okay to call the clock? Well, the thing is with calling the clock is I don't think George said is interested at all in calling the clock. He looks just perfectly content with sitting there. So if anyone does call the clock, it might have to be a it's tournament like director decision. A uh, good tweet from Cale Burns, Australian poker legend, who says, Adrian with a massive tank, yes, but let's bear in mind he's had the fastest average play for the whole final table, and this is for the whole enchilada. When you guys play for 4 million heads up, you guys can protest and shot clock yourself. <laughs> there we go, Cale Burns delivering the heat. 
I must say, Admiral has been playing extremely fast, and this is for it all. We can see the cards, but he doesn't know. He's a call away from being out the door into the bar. People on the rail must be extremely confused since they don't have any idea <laughs> of what the action is. It's hard to watch poker live. It must be really hard to watch this hand live. This will definitely go down as the longest hand in main event history. It has to. I cannot recall anything like that ever before. I mean, this is just crazy. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Donnie, I mean, okay, I'm going to give myself and you a pat on the back. We've been doing commentary here on a single river decision for the last, what, 16 minutes? And we're still talking. We're still entertaining. Hope you guys are having a good time. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you think Atmaro is going to fold. And please like the video if you think he's going to call. Jamie Whitley just came back from the moon. He says, I flew to the moon while waiting on this guy. LOL. Hysterical stuff. For those that are just tuning in, this is a one-hour free preview. A one-hour plus one hand because we are signing off after this hand hap finishes. If that ever happens. If it ever happens. Remember the hashtag, when will the WSP main event end? Or will the WSP main event end before? Will this hand end before? <laughs> before the hand started, or the average gamer $10 donation says, Be before the hand started, I said, I have to use the bathroom, but I'll wait until this hand is over. Well, <laughs> for all those that were waiting to grab a drink, don't get dehydrated during this tank. Black Cloud, Cloud Roman with the $2 donation. Thank you so much. We are seeing it through until the end of this hand, and then we have to sign off here on YouTube. Hope you guys all understand that we have more going on here. I mean, if Admiral folds, we still have a really, really, <laughs> really good heads-up match to watch, Donnie. Like, let's not understate how deeply these guys think about poker. Eric Lingren tweeted, Poker in 2022, heads up in the main event. I tune in for hand number one. I watch one minute of the hand. Neighbor comes, has to help me move a couch down the street to another house. I come back in the house, and the hand is still going. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah! There it is. Admiral lays it down. He gets away from it. After what looks like an 18-minute tank. <laughs> I mean, Jorstad looks like he just woke up from a nap. He's stretching, you know. He's like, okay. Let's see if there's any table talk here. You bluffed me, eh? Oh. He did not, sir. I mean, What's that? <laughs> he, Jorstad dehydrated after sitting there for 25 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the suited? World Series of Poker. That's what you had, 9-7 Why are we playing now? It's been two levels since the hard hand. Uh, all right, one more time. My name is Rem Kurinkama. Donnie oh, Peters nice alongside time. me. Thank you all so much for tuning yes. in. This right. was the free preview of the World Series of Poker main event final table. Join us right now on PokerGo.com. Lon McCarron, Norman yeah. Chad, and Twice. Jamie Kirst that are on the call huh? until Twice. there is a winner know, tonight. Yeah. Attenborough, not out of it just yet. So stay tuned for more. Thanks once again, and we'll see you on Poker Go.